Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, I'm doing a really fun time lapse. And the reason why I'm choosing to draw this image is because tomorrow, February 5th, 1953, was the anniversary of Peter Pan. And of course, most of you already know that Peter Pan is one of my all-time favorites favorite 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 Disney movies now if you follow me on Instagram which I really highly suggest that you go and follow me on Instagram because that's where I like to do live Instagram feeds and you guys can actually talk to me in live time and actually ask me questions about art supplies and everything but on Instagram I've been doing this galaxy series and this galaxy series is nothing special to what I have been doing in the past so a lot of you on Instagram have been like commenting on my pictures on these types of galaxy doodles that I'm doing and you're asking me for a tutorial. Well, I'm here to tell you I am not doing anything different and I'll go ahead and put it up right now. Look in the top right corner for the tab. And I have been doing this exact galaxy technique that I have been using for tanned tone drawing galaxies on tan tone paper. It's exactly the same. The only difference is that I'm coloring their skin in Copic markers in black and white because, and a lot of you have asked me, why is it that I color their skin in black and white and I don't color them in? Well, I just like the way that it looks. I like the way that the galaxy pops in contrast if they don't have a skin color and you don't show like, for example, Peter's orange hair or Wendy's, um, I don't even know what that is. It's kind of an auburn hair. Um, it just, it, it kind of just focuses on the galaxy of their outfits and everything. So that's why I chose to do it in black and white. But as you can see, it's nothing different. I'm doing the exact same technique that I have used on the tan tone coloring galaxies on that. It's the exact same technique. It's just white paper and it's nothing special at all. So if you want to go check it out, check that out, then you totally can. But I thought another fun like topic to go ahead and go over with you guys is I get this question a lot and I think I want to go ahead and answer it. It's why I like galaxies so much and I know a lot of you do ask it on either it's my post on Instagram or just through my live sessions and stuff. Um, the reason why I like Galaxy so much, honestly, I have loved the stars for years. I've always loved the stars. I've never had like any um, any any interest in being an astronomer or anything like that. But even mid in the middle school, I always used to draw my characters and stars and everything. I remember one of my first original characters was named Star, and she was a fairy, and she had stars all over her wings like the galaxy. So. Um, and as a Christian, I've always been fascinated with the stars and the heavens and the galaxies and wanting to go there and be a part of that and everything. And it's just God's creation. And I just, it's one of God's natural creations that I absolutely love. And everybody who looks up into the starry skies at night, when it's a clear night and there are no clouds in the sky, we all just feel just, it's just this big, vast, beautiful universe. But other than that, other than the fascination which is the night sky, I was trying to think, well, what started to like really inspire me in drawing in galaxy forms and stuff? And honestly, it's music and it happens to be Owl City. I love Owl City and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that I am obsessed with Owl City's music. And there was an album in 2011 and that was his album that he came up with Alligator Sky and Galaxies, which was like a tribute to the um to the astronauts that passed away in that fatal crash of the um spaceship i don't mean, i don't know i don't know terms <laughs> but he made the song galaxies and that really like piqued my interest and just like even his earlier songs like meteor shower um it just all i could really imagine was just like standing and watching the stars fall around my feet in a in a fun beautiful way not like catastrophic like uh, asteroids coming and hitting earth god forbid but <laughs> that's like that's where my inspiration of galaxies came from 
But other than Owl City, I mean, there have been so many songs about stars in general, just looking up and looking at the stars and everything, and one of them that has really inspired me with all these galaxy pieces is by Skillet, and it's actually called Stars, and then of course there's um, one song called Stars by Switchfoot, which is another one of my huge favorite bands. Um, he, they talk about, like, in the song they say they look up at the stars and they feel like, he says he feels like himself, and I'm just like, yes! I look up at the stars and I feel like myself and it's just um it's just such a great concept and stars are so great to work with and the colors are beautiful to work with and I mean that's why it's it's crazy to think that music inspires me to doodle and galaxy but I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I hope you give this technique a try it's a lot of fun and I really hope you'll have fun doodling it so have a great weekend Bye!